So right across the street, that's Downstate University Hospital right there. So we right across from Downstate. That's where my, that's where my, um, my, all right, different type of births happen over this side. This is where my Aunt Lily had her daughter right here. My cousin Karen had her daughter here too. And my Aunt Jennifer works, my Aunt Jennifer works right here as well. Let me let this dog, let me just pass this guy. Alright, let me start. Let me start. So, um, so right across the street, my cousin Brandy works uh, actually Jayla's mother. That slash my cousin. Um, she works here as well. So, it, it's a blessing that you have family that works in culture and the traffic and and the jam. Most jams happen at the hospital. Where you see people waiting in the emergency room and they only have one doctor working on site. And it's 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 not it's not like say they have one doctor, they have only one doctor working on site. And the traffic jam happens when we don't have no doctors to help and provide for us. And sometimes the doctors them are jammed up because of the job they're doing and they're not they're not having a good time with their families because that's what happens when traffic jam licks. This is where reality licks. When the enemy comes to destruct you in that reality. You see, when you're in the middle of a road and you are blocked from the enemy, the devil could block you anywhere in this road and you don't even know when to cross. Right? You don't even know when to cross because you feel that you're blocked in one direction and then you're not close enough to get where you're at to your destination because the enemy blocking you in that decision, right? All right, this is what traffic jam can do. All right, so let's call, let's say this is a road repair. They doing road repair on this road right here, right? Because I'm actually on Lennox Road. And the traffic jam, jam packed the road because people trying to go past to get to their house, right? And in reality, the jam happens when you are on the road and sometimes the ambulance can't come through because jam. They in traffic because they can't go through the block. And sometimes the enemy destruct them from in the middle of the street because they can't go past. So what we do when, when, when this goes on, write this down. Rebuke the devil before the devil comes to you. Write that down. Rebuke the devil before the devil comes to you. Because when the devil comes to you, you got to know when to stand and rebuke. You feel me? Sometimes you have to really understand and learn that when you jammed up in this road, it's about being able to rebuke and let go of things that's going your way. You have to, you have to rebuke and let go. Sometimes the devil have you at Kings County. I have the next second... Um, Hospital, hold on one second. Can I cross the street? Let's go. Yeah. So the guy trying to cross the street right now. And he crossing the street because he's trying to get to his destination. And I'm trying, I'm the Lord that I got. And I'm trying to get across the street for me to get to my destination. And sometimes the enemy blocks the driver from, from the enemy blocks the driver from getting towards you. Because he don't want the incident to happen to you. Or the driver. So you have to really think about how to put yourself in a position where you have to rebuke and sometimes rebuke the devil from when the devil trying to get back side. So you have to really think about things that can really relate and really change you. This is my job, you know. I do this every day. And sometimes when you do this every day, it relates to what you're going through and how you're going to get there. But the patterns and principles of the traffic is when you're jammed up. And you don't even know where you at. You don't even know what you're doing and how you're gonna get to that, that destination because you're jammed. This the the word that I wanna say is called street culture. Street culture is about understanding the the obstacles of traffic jam. Your jam can 
get you somewhere else that you can't open C. And if you oversee the jam, it's like, all right, I'm on Lux Road and I'm on East 39th Street. I'm walking and I'm, I'm looking back towards me and I see people walking down the street. Jewish. You know what I'm saying? Because you know what they're going through. But sometimes when I look back, they traffic jam. I got to go on the other side of the road for me to let them get them past, right? So sometimes I have to look both ways to see where I'm going. So that's what that's the traffic jam for you, right? So I'm going to have to cross this street right here oh yeah it's good all right okay so i have to cross the street to get the person past for me to oversee certain things in my life but sometimes the enemy just struck you from the middle of that road you know why because you're too busy in people's business and not even focus on what you need to do to rebuke the traffic jam. And that's the enemy, right? Sometimes you think about things that you could change. But, and, and sometimes when you change that jam, it could relate to what you're going through as far as your pattern. Your principle is like, when I go through a principle, you feel that your principle is a part of your pattern, but it's not your pattern. It's what you're going through and how you're going to get there. So I'm in front of PS235. That's where Chris Santa graduated from preschool. Um, Mr. Morris Preschool, right here in the school right here. And I was talking to Anna Latoya. I want her to hear this because she's going to watch this video later on when I upload it. When the enemy comes to when the enemy come to destroy your financial life, it's about learning how to rebuke the traffic jam that's trying to intervene with your life. Sometimes the enemy block you from doing things that you not that you are supposed to do in life, and it's about being worshiping God. And then sometimes when you worship God, the enemy come to destruct you when you're peaceful with God. But sometimes you have to realize that when you are in a structure, write that down. When you are in a structure of peace and principle, it's about having the understanding of what are you going to do as far as you living on the earth where you were created by God, right? So in the Bible, you talk about, you talk about things that you could change, but you can't change unless you make a difference. The difference that you're making is what... The, the, the enemy try to tell you certain things that you want to do and you can't do it. Sometimes the devil try to tell you one thing, you can't do it. Because you allow yourself to oversee the power of the enemy. You oversee the power of yourself. But when your life goes down the wrong way, you got to be able to pick yourself up and say, listen, I'm going to make that difference. But my difference that I'm making is doing what I'm supposed to do as a Christian is what? Pray and believe fight and conquer but if we don't fight we don't conquer it and the world comes to conquer it because you're not having the ability to try new and better things in your life because you allow yourself to understand certain principles that you're going through is about building up your trust with what you are believing in right but sometimes the traffic jam jams up your spirit because you're frustrated and you're getting tormented because your spirit is around the place and you can you can't rebuke and you can't change because you're tormented in what you are believing for. And then the enemy comes to destroy you in that, in that facility because you are in what? Traffic, right? So that's what we're doing. So right now I'm walking to my next location and God is good, right? We already shut over here. I did shot over here when I did it when I shot, when I was on my way to Empire, so I'm actually doing a face shot right now. Right. Let's go the street, cross the street. Mm-mm. 
You see, the guy was trying to, I'm trying to cross the street, and the guy's waiting for me to cross because that's a part of traffic jam. Because you're trying to get to your destination quicker, and you're driving your vehicle, and you're walking so fast because you really need to get to your destination in time. And the enemy blocks you from not getting there. You know? You know why? Because you oversee in traffic jam. That's what it is. All right, so let's go. So on 42nd, wait, on 42nd, my schedule said Lennox go straight to 48th, 49th, and then make a right on 49th, go up Clarkson, and then go up Clarkson into Remsen. Okay, good. So we're gonna end right here because it's my camp. My face is supposed to end right here. We're gonna end right here. So subscribe to YouTube on Shamika Samuels. Uh, this video is about traffic jam and culture. So we're gonna do that right now. So right now I'm gonna head head to my location and let me finish up working. God bless you guys. All right.